This was a old industrial wasteland with a tow yard and an old parking lot. And we repurposed it into a building with uh, all the mixed use details you'd see in other buildings in Hoboken. What we tried to do was to move the building mass furthest to the west below the Palisades to get the building mass away from the smaller residential existing buildings. Because it is a taller building, we wanted to have some space. We created a two and a half acre park here. It's unbelievable. And it's a city that is densely populated, it's, it's fine two and a half acres. Sandy um, caused complete devastation in Hoboken. I know this entire area was flooded. It could have taken a boat down here. There's no place for the water to go. You're backed up here by the Palisades. The building and the site has these underground pipes that hold 450,000 gallons of water. So in the event of a rain event, what would happen is the rain would go into these pipes, pipes would store the water, and then the water would then eventually slowly be um, let out into the sewer system so as to avoid flash flooding. Many of our tenants are not owning cars anymore because it's so expensive and so difficult to have a car in an urban environment. The light rail is simply uh, right around the corner from the project at the back door. It's really nice. You can actually live in a place like this without having to own a car. The community center was just the, you know, the cherry on top. The gymnasium is a public facility being given to the city. In the spring and summertime, you can actually open up half of the gym wall, which opens up into the park. I see the creation of a neighborhood, and that's really what's exciting about the whole thing. It's not just the building, it's not just the residential building, it's retail, it's connected to the arts, it's got a community center. It's a place where people want to be, and so we find that's that's very exciting to be able to be part of that process.